What's poppin' people? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own mosaic from letters, numbers, I think I'm saying that right. Whatever. You guys know those templates I offer you guys on Etsy for average of $10? Well, I'm not paying for that for every letter that I want because if I want the whole alphabet, I'd be paying way over $100. <laughs> so I just figured I'd figure, it out, I'd figure out how to make it on my own, which I did. In my last video, I showed you guys how to create a 10 and a 1. I did all of that from scratch. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, the first thing that you'll need is obviously cardboard. You're going to need different colored markers. I have a brown, a red, and a black. You can get different colors and as many colors as you want. You will need a curved ruler for those S's and the D's and number two. Like anything with the curve, let's just make sure your curve is straight and clear. You need an L-shaped ruler. You can use a yardstick depending on how tall you're trying to go. Right now, we're just going to do the smaller one just because it's easier for the video. And once you guys get the base of the smaller one, doing the bigger one, you apply the same steps, okay? All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is measure the width and the length of your board. So this is the width of my L-shaped ruler, so that is 24 inches. So I'm going to create a mark, which I already did, at 12 inch mark. And then take the width, the length of the board. That's 24 inches there. If I had a yardstick, this would be so much easier, but I forgot mine. That's 24 plus a mile plus another 8 inches so in total that's 24 by 32 and then we, you want to get the half of the 32 which will be 16 and if you guys haven't already follow me on my socials I'll put them on the screen if I haven't already which I'm pretty sure I have but anyway so the reason I like using the L-shaped ruler is because on a board, it makes sure it's all going to be balanced. So this, as long as this is straight, aligned with my board, I know the line I'm going to create a few minutes, a few seconds is going to be straight. Alright, so just in case for anyone that doesn't want to use the actual edge of the board, which you can when you're doing this, uh, I'm not going to just because it's kind of jaggedy, so I'm going to go in just an inch, which is about the width of my ruler. And I'm not going to try to make go all the way up and down just because that's not necessary for what I'm trying to do. So this line right here will basically be this long stand of the letter K. And then what I want to do is go out. You can pick any measurement you want. I'm going to go with 4 inches. So when I do the bigger ones, like when I did the 1 and the 10, I made them 8 inches wide. But for this one, because it's a smaller board, I'm just going to do 4 inches. Actually, no. I'm going to go... I'm going to do 6 inches because I don't like the point 4 inches looks. Same thing for the bottom. Alright, so this is basically the long part of the K. And I hope this is clear. If it's not, my glasses are off. I am nearsighted, so I can't see clear far away until I get some LASIK done. Um, so hopefully it's clear. If it's not, the board should be clear. I don't care if I'm not clear. Alright, so this line right here is 29 inches long, so I'm going to find again the midpoint of the 29. That will be 14 and a half. Well, ironically, it's already here, so we already have that line. So, because this line is going to be basically our midpoint for the K, I'm going to change the color so I don't get confused. Alright, so basically I double lined that, made us much like Rithy Ride, just ignore it. Anyway, it's red on top of the black, just so I know that this is my midpoint for this line, not the length of the board. Okay, so then from here, I'm going to figure out how long I want this to go down because I do need to create a stopping point to create the legs of my K. And when you're playing and you're kind of guessing, that is why you have different colors. So if you do mess up, it won't matter. It's going to be filled with balloons anyways. Um, and then if anything, you can always flip it. Well, this you can't flip, but that's why we have the colors. 
So what I'm going to do is, this is already 29, so I know this is my midpoint for both, I'm going to be my midpoint for both my legs. Yeah, you don't want the V to go directly in the center and touch it because it just looks weird. It's not the shape of a K. I go out six inches on here. And then from there, which is the six inches, I'm probably going to want to go up. Remember, we're just guessing for now. Probably going to want to go up three inches. So I'll just put it here. That's a three inch mark. And then going down to six inches is another um, three inch mark. Okay, so that's three inches down. So now what we can do is we can connect the two. So from this point, I personally don't think I'm gonna like it three inches up, so I'm gonna try bringing it up an inch on both sides. I just don't like how it's looking. So I'm gonna use the brown marker just so I don't get confused when it's time to cut. Just one inch up. Which will be here. Hopefully you guys can see the brown marker. And then... Okay, see the two different ones? So now what we're going to do is measure it out, and we want to, remember this why we have the L-shaped ruler here, we want to keep it balanced so there's nothing going off. That's the same thing. The reason we're doing that is because we're going to figure out the width we want this angle to be at in order to create the letters on the K, well, the legs on the K. And I'm going to continue using the brown as long as it doesn't die on me, just because the mark I will be using is this one, which is the brown mark. So when it's time to cut, I don't get confused and try to cut with the red marks. So remember we're playing, that's all what all this is about. You're trying to figure out the measurements that you like. I think I'm going to want it eight inches apart, or we'll do seven and a half, seven and a half inches apart. We're going to do the same thing down here. Starting from where this line connects, that's where the leg is, the body of it anyway. Alright, and then what we do is we simply take the same ruler at the seven and a half inch mark and connect it from this brown mark to that brown mark. What do you guys think? Okay, because I'm not quite sure if I like that, I'm gonna take my red marker again, then connect the red mark. This one to here and see if I like it better. Now this may seem a little bit more time consuming than downloading a template, but think about how much money you'll be saving and the more you do it, the faster you'll be at it. And then also, if you're gonna be making things like this all the time, you can make this your, literally make it your template. I think I like it there. So we're just gonna ignore the brown line and keep it red. See why I have different colors? <laughs> we're gonna keep it red. I like the red better. See? We almost have a K. We're, we're literally almost done. So we made this six inches. We made the width between here and here six inches. So the width between this next leg has to be six inches in order for it to be even and not look like an amateur did this. You know what's crazy? I learned all of these skills in school and it was for fashion. And <laughs> in the moment, you're just like, what am I ever going to use these besides fashion again? And here I am using exactly what I learned in school for something like this. So, saying that to say, even if you feel like you did something as a waste, you worked somewhere, you thought it was a waste of time, you went to school for something, you thought it was a waste of time, the skills that you learn can always be put to use in different areas. They don't have to be whatever it is you were studying or wherever it is you worked. It's a skill that you now have that you can use for anything you want to use. All right, so we got the six inch there, six inch there, that's so why we have the lines, that line's gonna connect them. If you want to, I'm not going to get confused because I'll just know, but if you want to, if you're going to get confused, you can make go on top of this line and make it red. Just so, for cutting purposes, you don't get confused. Now, what a lot of people are going to want to do is bring this line over to finish the legs off, and they kind of want to bring it to here. No, you don't want to do that. It's going to look super ugly. 
What you're actually gonna do is go from this little line right here that we have, and you're gonna go out another six inches to make it even. So that is six inches from the center of the leg of the K or the body of the K. I'm saying it right, you know what I mean? It says six inches from here, okay? And then all you do, we're about to be done. You connect the two points, and then what happened? Do you like how that looks? I don't. So what are we gonna do now? We're going to bring it in an inch. This is all trial and error. Error, sorry. We bring it in an inch. That makes it five inches. You cut an inch off of the original one. We'll connect it again and see if you like it better. Does that look better? Okay, I still don't like it. I'm purposely messing up so I can show you guys the purpose of using different colored markers. We're gonna go back to the brown. And then from here, so we originally where we went out six inches, we took out an inch. Now what we're gonna do is take out an inch and a half. So from this point, we're gonna take out half an inch. We're not gonna take out a full inch anymore. That's an inch. We're gonna go in another half an inch from this second point we did. All right, so now this line is now four and a half inches. It is no longer six inches. It's four and a half because we brought it in. Yeah, I like that way better. I like the four and a half inches out rather than the five inches and the six inches. So then we go here. We're gonna bring it to the brown mark. That's the mark that we like. And then connect them. And that's it, you have your K. I hope you guys can kinda like see that. So if you look at the brown here, you see how the K has come in and we have the full K now and we have this. Like we have the whole body. That is why you use, when you're making your own, you're doing your own template and you're trying to figure out the measurements for yourself and you're really just playing, that is the importance of having multiple different colors so when you mess up, you know what to do and you know what to ignore. But let's say you don't want to use different, use different colors for whatever reason, I don't know reason that could be. You just X off what you're not going to use. So you know you're not going to use that. You're not going to use that line. You know that you are not going to use you know you're not gonna use this line, this brown line originally, but your everything else is state. So you're gonna use, you're gonna cut this line, these, the bottom line is like perfect, and you're gonna you cut this. Obviously, when you cut out this, all of this is going to be gone. And you will have your cake. Make sense? I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. But so this video was just a tutorial on how to make your template, how to get the measurements down what tools you need. I will show you guys in the next video, cutting it out and filling it with balloons. That part is super easy. Um, it's not hard at all. I know a lot of people make it seem like it's a, it's like a chore, and it's really not. This is what I would say is the hard part, simply because getting the measurements right is definitely the hard part, I would say, for the most part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if I'm out of focus, so, so sorry. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful for you guys. I know how much it can cost when you're trying to do things on your own, and it seems like there's no other way, so I try to make a way to make it work for me and my budget, and I did. So this board again was $5.99 with 40% off at Hobby Lobby. You're gonna get it for like two, two, about around $2. Um, the markers I got from Dollar Tree. The rulers I did get from school, so I don't know how much they are, but I'm assuming they're not a lot. They're gonna be, I'm going to assume they're gonna be at any craft store. Um, just another tip, when it comes to cutting, which we will do in another video, do not use an exacto knife. I've used that and I just find it to be so, so annoying and it kind of stops me from moving as fast as I could. So I would highly recommend using a box cutter. So much more efficient. Hobby Lobby has one. It's multiple. They're heavy duty. You can use a 40% off code on it. And it just makes life so much simpler and it's a lot sturdier than an X-Acto knife. I just don't, don't, don't use it. I don't care. If you grow at it, then great. But your hand's going to be a lot sturdier and you can cut a lot smoother with a box cutter. I have done it. It made my life so much, so much more easy. Okay. I hope to see you guys in that next video. Please hit that subscribe button, like it, share it with their friend if it was helpful to you. If it's going to be helpful to that person, send it to them. Make sure they know where to find DIYs, where to find faith talks and self-love, motivation. It's all on this channel. It's all, I don't want to sound vain, but me. <laughs> I 
everything that I'm really into and I, I love helping people so I help try to help people in any way that I possibly can. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, send it to your friends, share it on different platforms, and I will see you guys in the next video.